Well, today, Kansas City began enforcing a sidewalk snow ordinance that it's never really fully enforced before today. That means homeowners and businesses must shovel snowy sidewalks or face a penalty. Amy Hawley is live along Brookside Boulevard with more. Amy. Well, the city told me today that it, it did issue a couple of warnings to downtown businesses who had still not cleared Sunday snow from its sidewalks in front of those businesses downtown. And make no mistake, the city said today that it will start issuing homeowners also warnings and fines if the pass in front of your home is not clear as well. But what happens to the city, do you say, when you can't tell the difference between the city sidewalk like this and the grass? This is what happens when sidewalks aren't cleared of snow. People with no vehicle of their own, like Amber, have to walk in the street. Usually all the cars will get over, but this one lady, she was probably like right here, and I'm just like, are you serious? The single mom was walking to work today. If the sidewalk in front of your home or business looks like this, the city says starting today, you will get a 48-hour warning, and then if it's still not cleared, you could face a fine. Yesterday, I couldn't tell if the street or the sidewalk because it was so much snow. But what if the sidewalk is by no homes or businesses like this one or by a park? The city says it's their responsibility. The city says though it won't get a fine, it started plowing its sidewalks today. The busiest sidewalks, they say, will get priority first. You know, that's uh, the pot calling the kettle black. Now, we've seen the same problem when the city will find homeowners who are not taking care of overgrown grass in the summer, but the city can't take care of its own city-owned properties as well. We've done stories like that. Now, the bus system, the ATA, says only its busiest stops are shoveled for those riders because some of the uh, riders were complaining that the snow had not been shoveled along those stops. But it did say today it has 6,000 stops to cover in the city, so it's going to take a little bit while. And again, like the city said, the busiest areas will be shoveled first. Areas along Brookside Boulevard, those will probably come last. In Brookside, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.